ladies. Welcome to my bathroom on this Friday morning. Um, I'm going to step out of my comfort zone a little bit. I have no makeup on, no natural, and going to show you um, how to contour. I already have my moisturizer on, my primer, wonderful stuff to hold your makeup on. It can also go in your hair to shine or to help with frizz. And I also have the new eye serum uplift on and this stuff is amazing ladies it comes out September 1st you can purchase it for $65 also I've got a little bit of lisp I got my bleach tray in while I'm getting ready so here we go to contour you need a shade two shades lighter for the highlight and two shades darker for the contour you can use the powders you can use the BB cream or you can use the touch foundation, the Touch Cream Foundation. I'm going to use the BB Creams today. And I have Bisque. I have the um, lighter shade ordered fresh, but um, it's not in yet. So I'm going to use Bisque and I'm going to use Caramel. So Caramel and Bisque. Highlighting, you want to go straight down the nose. and make a triangle at the forehead. Under the eye, and like a triangle under the eye. I don't have any foundation or powder on right now. You can do BB cream or the cream foundation first if you want. Um, I don't. I just use this. You can always do powder over cream, but you can't do cream over powder. The chin this kind of like a little triangle there. You can also do the laugh lines if you kind of have a frown here to highlight there also. And I use my fingers to put it on. You can use um, brushes if you like. And this is the contouring. When you do your cheekbone here to highlight, you can suck in like a fish. And you want to go into that indentation. All the way up to the hairline to right, you know, leave a little space there. on the side of the nose, all the way up into the brow, right under the brow right there. And on the other side, you want to do it even on the other side, you know, it looks the same on either side of the nose. And then you put it under here. Like I have a little bit of a, not a double chin, but when I smile, I got a little gobbler thing going on here. So I try to hide that. So I put a little bit under the chin and kind of give a shadow there so you don't see it as easily. You just got to really make sure you blend this in really well so you don't have that, that dark line of makeup we used to do when I was back in high school and I couldn't wear makeup. I'd go put it on on the bus and... I have a line there. I don't know why we didn't know how to blend that in. Okay. So here it is. I'm highlighted and contoured. 
look like an Indian with war paint or something. Then I take my powder puff brush and I just blend. On the cheeks and around the eye, you want to go up. We all need some lifting and that helps make it lift up there. And I forgot the little space, the cupid's arrow right here. You want to highlight that. there you have it it's all blend in no lines I don't put any other foundation on afterwards and um, it looks real natural it's highlighted and contoured I always follow up with the powder to hold the makeup on the primer also helps set it in um, and this is taffeta I have yet tried the white t-shirt test um, that'll be the next thing I do um, next video it um, says when you hold when you wear the primer the primer and then you put your makeup on and put some powder it absolutely will not rub off you can take your hand wipe it rub it on a white shirt it will not rub off so there's the lesson for today contouring and highlighting excuse my lovely appearance and I'll see y'all next time have a good one